Hello, welcome back. I am Lady T and this is the Push Channel where we pray until something happens. We believe in the power of prayer. We know not only does God hear, but I am so thankful that he answers. I want to welcome you back to another one of our Touch and Tuesday segments. And today, I want to talk to you about the shortages. Stay tuned. <music> my viewers are in the United States as well but what's really going on with all the shortages okay like I went to Burger King last night and I was just ordering a burger and I was told there's no tomatoes and there's no lettuce I'm like really like no tomatoes and no lettuce then I went to a wing place and there are no chicken wings like why why is there a shortage on everything I went to get some pants and there was like cute tops, cute dresses, like, like the lady, I said, where are your pants? And she's just like, oh, there's a shortage on pants. I'm like, really? Like, real? is it really a shortage on every, on everything? Um, I would just like to know, like, what are you experiencing in your area? Are you finding that there are just all these strange shortages all over the place? I'm not sure what's going on, but at the same time, in my spirit and stuff, I'm just like, you know what? I think we need to stay prepared. And I saw Stephen Furtick did a, um, he did a message on Sunday about shortages and stuff. But I was just like, you know, I feel like in the kingdom, um, we need to be prepared. We need to be ready. Like, not to be fearful or anything, but it's just in my mind, like, we need to be prepared of what is really going on. And we don't know, but you know what? Our Father knows. So one of the things I want to come in today is I want to actually pray with you guys. You know, of course, we have to do the work, but also just praying that God has given us that wisdom and insight and also just praying over us. You know, God is our ultimate source. So he is our provider of everything that we need. But just that he's given us that that insight into what we need to be doing. What is it we need to be preparing and stocking up on? Only he really knows. Right. Of course, he is our ultimate source. He's the ultimate person that provides for us. But that we're having that wisdom and insight in what we need to do to be in preparation for whatever it is that's coming or whatever it is that's going on. So let's just go into prayer together. Lord, I thank you that you are the head of our life. Father, I thank you that you are concerned with those things that concern us. Lord, you said in your word that you actually give us the power to obtain wealth. We're just praying in this season, Lord, that you would show us what we must do to stay ready. That you are showing us what we need in this next season. Lord, we stand on Jeremiah 29, 11 which you declare that you know the plans for us, Lord, that you have plans to prosper us and plans to give us a future and a hope. Reveal to us what needs to be a part of this future plan, Father God. What is it that we need to be doing, Father? Lord, we only know what's happening right now, but you have already seen the future, Lord. Lord, despite what it looks like in the world's economy, we are holding on to your promises that we shall eat the fruit of our labor, that you will be blessing our hands and all shall be well with us, Father God. Not only us, but our households as well, Father. Lord, give us wisdom 
and direct our paths. Lord, we thank you that you are pouring out favor and blessings upon us, that you will give us insight in what we need to build, what we need to buy, and what we need to sow in this season, Lord. Lord, we wish to make sure that we are sowing in good ground, that you are showing us where we should be sowing so that we will receive a harvest at just the right time. Lord, we wish that you will give us an overflow during any famine, Father God, that may be ahead. Let us be as wise as Joseph, Father God, to have increase in knowledge, not only for us and our family, but Father God, for that it will be an inheritance for future generations, Father. Lord, we thank you that we will not lack in this season nor in any season because we are your children, Father God, that we will never lack, that we will never be forsaken for there is no good thing that you will withhold from us, Father God. Lord, we thank you that you are our ultimate source, that we will not fear. And Father, when the time is right, that we will go forth, that we will be obedient to do what you are calling us to do as you are preparing us, as you are showing us what we need to do to stay ready in these new strange times. But Father, we thank you because we know that you have raised us up for such a time as this. That if you have planted us in this season, you have equipped us to overcome this season. Lord, it is in your darling son, Jesus' name we pray. And we continue to thank you. Amen. Have a blessed week.